Ever wondered how your daily benazapril interacts with your meals? Well, you're not alone. Many of us take this medication without really understanding what it does or how it interacts with the food we eat. So let's unravel this mystery together, shall we? Benazapril, for those who might not know, is a prescription medication widely used in the management of high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. It's an ACE inhibitor, which stands for angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. Sounds like a mouthful, right? But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. In simple terms, this medicine helps relax and widen your blood vessels, which in turn decreases blood pressure and improves blood flow. This is vital in preventing strokes, heart attacks and kidney problems, conditions that can be life-threatening if not managed properly. However, as important as benazapril is in managing hypertension, it's also crucial to understand how it interacts with our diet. You see, certain foods can affect the way this medication works in our system. Some can enhance its effects, while others can reduce its efficacy or even lead to other health issues. So while we appreciate the comfort that our favorite foods bring, it's crucial to remember that not everything on our plate may be compatible with our medication. It's a delicate balancing act between enjoying our meals and ensuring that our medication is doing its job effectively. That's why it's important to have a clear understanding of what foods to avoid when taking benazapril. By being mindful of our diet, we are not only helping our medication to work optimally, but also taking a proactive step in our health journey. After all, knowledge is power, and in this case, it's the power to live a healthier, happier life. So, are you ready to delve deeper into this topic? Are you ready to find out which foods you might need to avoid or limit when taking Benazapril? Let's embark on this journey together, because knowing what food to avoid when taking Benazapril can make a difference in your health journey. Ever heard of the sodium benazapril interaction? Sodium, a common ingredient in our daily meals, especially processed foods, has a sneaky way of reducing the effectiveness of benazapril. It's like a mischief maker, working behind the scenes to counteract the benefits of your medication. Now, you might be wondering, how can I consume less sodium? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Start by reducing your consumption of processed foods, which are notorious for their high sodium content. Instead, opt for fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean meats. Additionally, try cooking at home more often. This way, you have full control over the amount of salt that goes into your meals. And remember, it's not just about avoiding table salt. Many sauces and condiments are also packed with sodium. So, the next time you reach for that soy sauce or ketchup bottle, consider using herbs and spices for flavor instead. So, consider saying no to that extra dash of salt. Did you know that benazapril and potassium can be a risky combination? Benazapril, like other medications in its class, can cause your body to retain more potassium than it normally would. This might sound good initially, but an excessive amount of potassium in your body can lead to a condition known as hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia can cause a variety of symptoms, including muscle weakness, irregular heart rhythms, and in severe cases, even cardiac arrest. So, while potassium is an essential nutrient, it's important to keep its intake in check when you're on benazapril. Now, you might be wondering, what foods are high in potassium? Well, some common culprits are bananas, potatoes, spinach, and avocados. These are all healthy foods, but if you're taking benazapril, you might want to limit how much of these you consume. Remember, moderation is key with potassium-rich foods. It's all about finding the right balance for your health. Think twice before reaching for that glass of wine. The serene evening might be calling for a drink, but if you're on benazapril, it might not be the best idea. Here's why. Alcohol can interact with benazapril in ways that may not be beneficial. It can increase the medication's effect, leading to a drop in blood pressure. This may result in increased feelings of dizziness or lightheadedness, especially when standing up from a sitting or lying down position. Now, imagine feeling dizzy while you're out for a walk or doing something that requires your focus. Not a pleasant scenario, is it? Additionally, alcohol can also potentially harm your kidneys. And considering that benazapril is a medication used primarily for treating high blood pressure and kidney problems, it's like adding fuel to the fire. 
So as much as you might enjoy a drink, it's wise to avoid alcohol while on Benazapril. Love your fries and burgers? There's something you should know. High-fat foods, though tantalizing to the taste buds, can play havoc with your medication, particularly if you're on Benazapril. Here's why. When you indulge in a high-fat meal, your body is so busy breaking down those fats, it can slow down the absorption of certain medications, including Benazapril. This means your medication may not work as effectively as it should. It's like trying to run a marathon with a backpack full of rocks. You're not going to get very far, very fast. So, while that double cheeseburger might be calling your name, remember that it could be undermining the effectiveness of your medication. Instead, opt for healthier alternatives like lean proteins, fruits, and vegetables. After all, you want your medication to be a help, not a hindrance. Opt for healthier alternatives to keep your medication effective. So, what's the takeaway from our food and Benazapril interaction? We've been on quite a journey, haven't we? Learning about how certain foods can interact with Benazapril, a common medication used to treat high blood pressure. Now it's time to wrap up this culinary exploration by recapping the key points we've covered about foods to avoid while on this medication. Firstly, we dove into the world of sodium, a mineral that's omnipresent in our diets. It's in everything from processed foods to restaurant meals. But when you're on Benazapril, it's crucial to keep an eye on your sodium intake. High sodium levels can counteract the effects of Benazapril, making it less effective at lowering your blood pressure. So it's time to say goodbye to those salty snacks and hello to a low-sodium lifestyle. Next, we talked about potassium, another essential mineral. While potassium is usually a friend to our bodies, helping with functions like nerve transmission and muscle contractions, it can be a foe when you're taking benazapril. Too much potassium can cause hyperkalemia, a condition that can lead to serious heart problems. So, while bananas and potatoes might be tempting, they're best to be enjoyed in moderation. We then moved on to alcohol. Even though a glass of wine or a cold beer might seem harmless, alcohol can increase the side effects of benazapril. This means it can make you feel dizzy or even faint. So it might be best to swap that cocktail for a mocktail when you're on this medication. Lastly, we discussed high-fat foods. These foods can make benazapril less effective and potentially lead to weight gain and other health issues. So, it's worth considering healthier alternatives and keeping those greasy meals to a minimum. The right food choices can make your Benazapril work better for you. Stay informed, stay healthy. Remember, your health is in your hands, and the choices you make can have a big impact. So choose wisely, and let's make Benazapril work the best it can for you. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. When we arm ourselves with the right information, we can make informed decisions that are best suited to our unique health needs. Let's circle back to our main topic of discussion today, Benazapril and the foods that might interact with it. We've uncovered that sodium, potassium, alcohol and high-fat foods all have the potential to significantly affect how this medication works in our bodies. But remember, everyone's body reacts differently. What might be a major concern for one person may not be the same for another. That's why it's so essential to have open lines of communication with your healthcare professionals. They are there to guide you, to help you understand your health and the medications you're taking. They can provide personalized advice based on your unique health profile, your age, your weight, your medical history, and so on. This video, like many others, provides general information. It is a starting point a way to get you thinking about what you're putting into your body and how it might interact with your medication. But it's not the end-all be-all. It's not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. So if you're taking Benazapril, we encourage you to reach out to your healthcare professional, discuss your diet, talk about your concerns, ask questions, remain curious. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to manage your health effectively, and remember, you're not alone. Millions of people worldwide are on similar journeys, managing their health, navigating their way through medications, and learning about what foods to eat and avoid. There's a community out there, ready to support and guide you. Your health matters. Keep learning, keep growing, and remember, you're not alone on this journey.